Hi everyone, Tegan Fee here, clinical hypnotherapist and natural success life coach. And I wanted to talk to you today about boundaries because so many of my clients present with issues around having poor boundaries. So you may relate to this, that when you're in relationship with someone else, they may do something that doesn't feel right to you and you feel a feeling that something's not right, but it's not until later that you actually think, oh God, I, that wasn't a nice thing that that person said to me, or I wish that I'd said something about them saying that they're going to meet me at a certain time and turning up two hours late or saying they're going to text and they don't or whatever it is. And often these com things come up in our personal intimate relationships with others. So if as a child you didn't get your needs met and you learned that my needs are not important and my feelings are not important, then you will probably have an issue around boundaries. And this is what happened to me because I grew up thinking that my needs were not important, my feelings were not important. And so in relationship with others, I people placed. I always put myself last. And if something happened in my relationships that didn't feel right to me, either someone was treating me badly or they weren't treating me with the respect that I deserved, I couldn't speak up. I didn't like the conflict. I just allowed it to be okay and said, yeah, yeah, that's okay. And then I felt this resentment building up within me. And when I did my somatic psychotherapy training many years ago, we did a whole module around boundaries. And I realized for the first time in my life that I had very, very limited boundaries. In fact, it was really difficult for me to put any boundaries in place. So on an energetic level, if you think that we have an auric field, like an, an aura of energy around us, people who don't have strong boundaries have a very fine auric field. They don't have that strong kind of boundary around their auric field. So the journey that I had to go on was to practice putting boundaries in place. I had to learn to say no, and I had to learn to actually communicate when something was not right for me. And at first it was really painful because it was, for me, it was almost like swimming with sharks, right? I felt like I was going to be annihilated or I was going to be attacked or punished for actually saying no or for asking for my needs to be met. And this is because my brain had learned as a child that I was going to be punished if I put strong boundaries in place. So I had to practice this. And it was really liberating because after a while I learned that setting boundaries actually gives you a lot of respect. You actually teach people how you want them to treat you, how you want to be treated. And then people know that this is what your level of self-esteem is. When we don't have strong boundaries, people can tend to walk all over us and treat us in a way that doesn't feel right for us. So I challenge you to start putting boundaries in place, to think about what's right for you, to think about what your needs are, to communicate your needs, and also to communicate in a loving way with strength when something doesn't feel right for you and to communicate what does feel right to you. Have the most beautiful day. Drop in the comments, let me know what you think about this and also subscribe to my channel. I'd really love to have you on board and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Bye.